What are the primary things that they're teaching you, though, the dating coaches? Well, um, according to Stefan Speaks, there's stuff um, more so in regards to, like, chemistry, connection, and um, compatibility. Mm -hmm. And I've also read a book by uh, Don Maslar that uh, it's more like biochemical stuff. So mm -hmm. it helps me understand about, like, you know, not being affectionate too soon and just like how women produce oxytocin and we bond. Wait, are you talking about sex? Yeah, or sex, affection. affection. Well, from my or understanding, both. I think it's it's sex. It's about sex. It's so wait, affection. there's a book about not fucking too soon? Basically. Yeah, it's uh, called Men Chase, Women Choose by Don Maslar. How, is it a recent book or? I don't know if it's recent, but okay. she, yeah. Um, she so are you waiting until marriage? Um, for who I'm dating, yeah. To have sex? Yeah. You're gonna to wait? To be intimate, yeah. You're waiting until marriage. Yes. Are you a virgin? I don't. I'm not comfortable answering that. I'm sorry. I mean, that means no, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you said when it comes to being affectionate, mm -hmm. in your in the past, you uh, you were affectionate more quickly. Not necessarily. I think that I was misinterpreting, like understanding what happens to me with affection, like how people get attached with affection or communicating too much too soon and not really like ans or asking like good questions that can kind of um, reflect if we are compatible and if mm -hmm. this is a good investment of what, our time. How fast, what, what's the fastest you've been affectionate with a man in the past? Um, like, well, affection, Same, you like, mean like holding hands like simple oh, I thought we were talking like, about sex no I thought you said affectionate it's no, interchangeable I'm, okay I mean but have you <clears throat> hooked up with someone relatively quickly no for that's a second not third a part date? of my history no never no so you've made all your previous exes wait a month two months three months a couple days I'm not comfortable answering my it's sexual a it's a dating I, podcast I know I understand I'm not comfortable with that thank you though in any case um do you think it's going to be, and are you newly religious, mm. or have you always been Christian? I've had, um, I'm still exploring my spirituality and like my faith and stuff and like my values in, in that regard. So it does become a little. Uh, would you say you're on? Um, would you say you're on a journey? Yeah, I, and I think that's very important, you know, for me personally. So I can't give like definite answers, but I'm definitely trying to work towards that because I do have a lot of you know things that I, you, I do on a daily are you born again is that I was right? baptized yeah when okay. I was 15 well don't you think it's going to be a bit of a hard uh, sell to a guy uh, that the this next guy that you meet he has to wait until marriage to have sex but you've had sex with men who were not previously married to you don't you think that's but a bit you're of a assuming hearts? that, and I did not speak on that. Can we not? Can we keep my sexual history private, please? I mean, it's a Thank dating you. podcast. It's within that. the purview of the conversation. Well, I mean, dating to me is more so about getting to know people, like and. Well, then I mean, I asked you earlier. I, okay, I asked you earlier. You said you've been single for two years. Mm -hmm. I asked if you were celibate, and you said, "Yeah, I've been celibate for two years." So. I mean, I know you don't want to talk about it, well, but you, you, you implied, like two years, you implied you're not a virgin. Yes. It's okay. We're all adults here. Right. This is a fairly, I mean, the average age of the panel here is in their 30s. Sex is a, it's not a super taboo thing to talk about. It's, right. We don't need to talk like details about right. any sexual experiences, but mm -hmm. I don't think at 30 years old, it's, uh, would be wrong for you to say you're not a virgin that's okay i respect your opinion like i just don't feel that way about well, myself i don't think it's right opinion now. i think it's just factually okay. true like the cert mm -hmm. the current social mores and climate i don't think there's it's objectionable to yeah at 30 that's and amongst okay. a panel of your peers who are similarly aged to right. simply say whether you're a virgin or not but in any okay. case you already basically implied that you weren't so okay Okay. Um, ah, this is gonna be a difficult. Would it would it be better for yeah, um, actually? Oh, I'm sorry, Q. I didn't mean. Oh, to I you. just I just wanted to know really quickly. Would it be better if he would have asked you, um, based on what you the information you provided? Would it be? Do you think it's unreasonable, based on your dating history, and this new journey that you're on, that a man would accept that? 
do you think Except is what? like your current terms in which you would want to date? Um, I can't say for sure. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't have an opinion either way on if that would... It's not about that. It's more so about, like, I'm okay being alone. Like, I'm okay. So, to me, even if I if I choose to be married and have a husband or not, that's okay. Like, it's the, pers- the right person will be okay with that, will respect my boundaries, will respect what I need to make me feel safe, and that's so you, okay. So, you're okay with... So, you don't want to be married. You want to be married, but you're okay being alone? Well, I would like to be married, but I also can accept that... If I don't, I'm not compatible with someone in that regard, that's okay. I'm not going to force and be too attached to the outcome, but I am putting an effort. So that's what I'm trying to explain. Okay. All right. Um, you, you got the floor is yours, Andrew. Oh, thanks, man. Well, I was just curious. Um, mm-hmm. you, you got a dating coach for the express purpose, I assume, of um, learning dating techniques yeah. or understanding better about how the dating market works, right? Yeah, and relationships in general as well. Yeah. yeah. If it, a big part of relationships is going to be the history of the person, you yeah. would agree with that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So if you're talking about dating specifically, mm-hmm. then the history of a person, how they treat other people, mm-hmm. how you treat other people, your sexual history, all of that is going to go into the idea of this um, compatible partner. That's what Q's talking about here, right? The compatible right. partner. So when Brian's asking this, it's not designed to make you feel bad or horrible or anything like this. Right. It's to explore the viewpoint of what it is that you're after in the dating market. Right. Uh, and if your expectations are reasonable or if they're unreasonable based on what you're bringing to the table, right. not asking this in order to hurt your feelings or no, do something okay. like this. No, I understand. I'm just not comfortable sharing that publicly. Like I said, I'm trying to rehabilitate into a society that I didn't really, you know, as a child growing up being more alone. So it's like it's, it's a little bit different of a different experience for me to to just share intimate parts of my history in that way like like intentionally and like you know so that's why i was just i'm not comfortable with that wait I, I i did want to point out yeah. i did want to point out um one commenter said something here that's actually pretty clever and pretty funny that you are indeed wearing rose colored glasses i just wanted to point that out right no it's because i get migraines and so for my history like the rose colored glasses block like some of the the lights like how oh, okay. bright they are yeah it's, from it's just migraines. it's just uh, it's just ironic is all i'm just pointing out it's very ironic what but did, anyway okay Wait, you said that, that you're shit. What was it? Um, you said something like your recovery, or what was it? The word you used. There's a word you used. It was like my recovery or something. Damn. Rehabilitation. She said rehabilitation. Yeah. Rehabilitation. Yeah. From what? No, like trying to rehabilitate, like into society.